Now, Big Board Sports with Ashley Miller. Good morning, everyone. After getting the night off on Friday, LaSalle grad Zach Remillard was not in the starting lineup for the White Sox last night, but he did come in off the bench to pinch run in the bottom of the ninth, stole second, and then this happened. Remillard's stolen bag proves pivotal because it put him in scoring position, and then he scores the game-winning run on the walk-off RBI. Another moment to remember for Remillard in his first couple weeks in the major leagues. To say the Yankees' offense is struggling would be an understatement. Since June 4th, New York ranks last in the majors in runs per game, batting average, on-base percentage, and OPS. All 16 of those games have been without Aaron Judge, who says he has a torn ligament in his big toe, and there's no timetable for his return. Turn. The Rangers took the series opener Another Friday night in the Bronx. Luis Severino gets the ball for game two. He has struggled as well lately. Seve issues back-to-back -back walks in the top of the first, but then gets out of it. Josh Young singles to right with two outs, but Jake Bowers comes up throwing, and he nails Nathaniel Lowe at the plate by a mile. New York has a rare bases-loaded opportunity in the bottom of the third, but Anthony Rizzo strikes out to end the inning. We are still scoreless. Billy McKinney has been the Yankees hottest hitter and he comes through in the bottom of the fourth again he hammers that ball out to right the solo homer gets New York on the board first one to nothing Severino has a really nice performance six scoreless innings five hits four strikeouts he leaves with a one nothing lead and that's your final score the Yankees even the series with a one nothing win the Mets have lost three straight in five of their last six games. They're seven games under 500 and in need of a spark. New, York's give, New York gives Max Scherzer some early run support. Second batter of the game, Starling Marte, and he crushes that ball to left. The solo shot makes it 1-0. It's 2-1 New York in the bottom of the fifth. Trey Turner lines that ball into left. Brandon Marsh scores easily from second, and we are all tied up at two, but the Mets answer right away. Top of the sixth, the Pete Alonso fielder's choice puts New York back in front. Then Tommy Pham adds to it. He singles to right with runners on the corners to bring in another run, and New York beats Philadelphia 4-2 the final. The Valley Cats offense exploded for 14 runs on Friday night, mashing six home runs to open their series with Ottawa. Tough to do much better than that for an encore last night. I have one rule as a videographer. When cute kids want to be on TV, you put them on TV. So there you go, guys. Top of the third. It's 2-0 Titans. The visitors have runners on second and third for Manny Garcia. He hits a fly ball to deep left. Aaron Altair goes basically as far back as he can go to make the catch, and that ends the threat. Bottom of the inning, Tri-City has runners on first and second with two outs. That should end the inning, but the second baseman overruns the ball. Ian Walters scores to get the Cats on the board 2-1. This one goes to extras tied at four. The Valley Cats lose in sudden death. 7-6 the final. That will do it in sports this morning. I'm Ashley Miller. A first warning alert day brings you severe weather coverage